Today we're introducing a beautiful, hope-inspiring crocheted top pattern for you. This lovely band of tea by Elizabeth Carr is made entirely in the beautiful Catherine's wheel stitch. And if you've ever made this stitch before, you are in for a treat. And we're gonna walk through this entire stitch today so you can see how easy it is to create this beautiful top. This design reminds us that the wheel embodies the essence of progress and it reminds us of our journey forward. So instead of worrying, try to flip that sometime and think of all the amazing things coming in the future for you. Think of all the beautiful friends that you're gonna make, all the delightful crafty projects that you're gonna do, all the amazing books you're gonna read. There's truly so many exciting things coming for you. That's the inspiration for this design and I hope you feel so inspired when you're making this top and when you're wearing it. And this design is so simple to make. I would call it adventurous beginner. And as soon as you know how to work this beautiful Catherine's wheel stitch, you're gonna be off to the races. You're gonna create two panels, one for the front and one for the back, and then you seam them together with a simple whip stitch. And the schematic for the sizes is found in the pattern for you. We have two versions to show you today, each made with four different colors. So this first one is in our library hues kit. Is there anything more delightful than walking through a vast old library full of amazing adventures and moments spent curled up on the windowsill sunk into a riveting story. I think not. So if you love reading as much as I do, I think this kit will be for you. And Parrot Hues, which we use to make this gorgeous green version, uses a combination of emerald, mint, olive, and forest greens. Using different colors for this design really helps those wheel stitches to pop. And the yarn base that we used is our dreamily delicious crema sock yarn. This yarn base does it all. It's a long wearing base that resists pilling. It has a beautiful shine and a glow to it that really reflects the light. And it has a nice bounce and elasticity so your projects are gonna hold their shape really well. You can download this pattern and get the yarn at expressionfiberarts.com. And of course, while you're there, be sure to sign up for email and text updates for weekly free knit and crochet patterns. And I am going to be giving away a set of this parrot hues that we use to make the green version. So if you would love to enter, just subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave me a comment below letting me know if you have ever worked this wheel stitch before. As I said, to make this top, you're gonna to work a front panel, a back panel, you're gonna seam them together and then finish off with a half double crochet border. So let's learn how to make this delightful Catherine's wheel stitch. All right, you're gonna start with your first color and I'm just gonna begin with a chain 17 for today's demonstration and then we'll jump into the starting row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. To work our starting row, we're gonna continue on with the same color. And we're gonna start with a single crochet into the second chain from our hook. So skip the first chain, into the second chain, work a single crochet. And then you'll work another single crochet, jump to the next stitch, and work a single crochet into that next stitch. Next, you'll skip three chains. So skip, 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 and then we're gonna work a cluster into the next stitch. A cluster is seven double crochets into the same stitch. So one, two, three, four, and all of these are into that same stitch. Five, six, and seven. So there's sort of a little half wheel so far. Next, we're gonna skip three chains. Skip, skip, skip. Then we're gonna work a single crochet into each of the next three stitches. So one, work a single crochet into the next stitch, work a single crochet into the next stitch. And you're gonna continue repeating that down until you have four stitches left. We're going to skip three, one, two, three. And in that final stitch, we're gonna work a half cluster. And a half cluster is four double crochets in the same stitch. So in that final chain, we'll work one double crochet, two double crochets, three, and one more. Four. And there's our starting row. For row one, we're gonna turn and we're gonna drop this first color 
Don't cut it, you can just leave it attached and we're gonna pick up our next color. We'll begin with the chain one, then we're gonna work two single crochets. One, and two, so one into each of the first two stitches. Then we'll chain three, and we're gonna double crochet seven together. So essentially, we're walking over the next seven stitches, and we're gonna double crochet them all together. So to begin, yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's the start of our first double crochet. Jump to the next stitch and same thing, yarn over, insert into that next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And we're gonna continue on until we have seven of these. So insert into the next stitch, there's three, four, five, six, and seven. Then yarn over and we're gonna pull through all of those loops. So we have now worked a double crochet seven together. Next you'll chain one. And what you're gonna do is slip stitch around the post of the seventh double crochet created. So go ahead and grab that final post and just slip stitch around that. And then you're gonna slip stitch in the next stitch where that seventh double crochet was worked. So right here. Then we're gonna work three single crochets. So continuing to move along. One, two, and three, and you'll repeat that all the way down your row. When you get to the end and you only have four stitches remaining, work a chain three and then a double crochet four together. So we're gonna walk along the final four stitches, just like we did before with the double crochet seven together. So yarn over, insert into that next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. There's the start of our first double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, there's our second one. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and we're gonna work one more. Yarn over, insert into the final stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. And then yarn over and pull through all of those loops for our double crochet four together. For row two, we're gonna turn and we're gonna start with a chain two. And we're gonna work a half cluster in the first stitch. So a half cluster, again, is four double crochets. One, two, and all of these are in that same first stitch. Three, and four. Then we're gonna skip over this previous chain three here worked, and we're gonna work three single crochets. So one into that next stitch, a single crochet into the next stitch, and a single crochet into the next stitch. Then we're gonna work a cluster here. So basically this is gonna form our wheel. So a cluster again is seven double crochets. So they're gonna come out of the center of this stitch. So go ahead and work your seven double crochets in that stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you can see we're already forming our little wheel there. So you're gonna continue repeating that across all the way down when you get to the end of your row and you've just got this chain three left and your two stitches left, you're just gonna skip these chains here and you're gonna finish off with two single crochets. So one and two. And you can see our lovely little wheels already happening here. So by using those special stitch combinations, you can see we've already got a wheel going here. 
And then as you continue to change colors, your wheels are gonna alternate, sort of nesting into each other. And you're gonna continue on with very similar rows. So now that you know how to work all the special stitches in this pattern, the rest of the pattern should be a breeze. Happy stitching, beautiful friend. Thank you so much for being you. And I hope you know that good things are headed your way. And I hope to see you next Friday because we have not one, but two brand new patterns and an amazing new experience for you that we have never done before. So I'm super excited to share all about that. So I will see you then. Bye.